Hey y'all, it's time for another what's for dinner video and I'm sharing four of the meals that we've had recently including showing you what we had on Super Bowl Sunday and I would say all of these meals pretty much go down as comfort meals because they're not like terribly healthy by any means but it was really yummy and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for you and your family. I post these what's for dinner videos pretty much every week here on my channel as well as grocery hauls and other food related content so if any of that sounds good then I would love to have you stick around and be part of our YouTube family but let's get on into cooking. So the first thing I'm going to share is a buffalo chicken dip that I made in the crock pot on Super Bowl Sunday and I wanted to post this um, just for me to have a reference to come back to easily and then anybody else that wants to make buffalo chicken dip too. So for that I've got two cans of the chunk chicken breast in a can and then two blocks of eight ounces of cream cheese so 16 ounces in total. We we'll use some buffalo sauce, ranch, garlic powder, and sharp cheddar cheese. You pretty much just have to dump everything into the crock pot. So I started with the chicken, the two blocks of cream cheese. I did about three fourths a cup of the buffalo sauce. You can add more or less depending on how spicy you want yours, but this was perfect for us. And then I did about a cup and a half of ranch. Again, more or less depending on how much you want. Then some garlic powder to taste and one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. You would normally probably cook this on low until it gets nice and mixed together and bubbly, but I needed mine done quicker, so I did it on high for about an hour and then turned it to low after that. And I did um, stop it halfway through. Well, not stop it because it's a crock pot, but I opened the lid and started it halfway through just to combine everything a little better and let it do its thing until it was done. Once it was done, I made sure to stir it really good and then we served it with some cut up celery and then also some potato chips. So we did regular potato chips and then tortilla chips as well. This is always a hit and everybody in the family loves it. I haven't made it in three years for whatever reason, but it's very happy to have it again because it was really good. And then we actually used the leftovers the next day, which I will be showing you here in a minute. As for everything else that we had and made for Super Bowl Sunday, I had these hot dogs that I made and I actually shared these in a what's for dinner video last week. These are oven baked hot dogs and they turn out amazing and so perfect for this kind of occasion where you need to cook a lot of them. And we also made some olive oil dip, which I wasn't too impressed with, so I didn't share the recipe with you. I'm gonna maybe tweak it a little bit first, um, but here's how the hot dogs turn out afterwards. Seriously, my new favorite way to have hot dogs. They turn out so good every time that we've made them. And then here is the chips and celery with the buffalo chicken dip. And then I also made some crock pot meatballs, which I think I've also shared on my channel before. If I have, I'll put it linked down below because it's our favorite way. It's the grape jelly and chili sauce ones. And then that is my brother standing there. He was making some stuffed jalapeno peppers. My sister-in-law made some guacamole. She makes the best kind ever. And then she also made some lemon meringues and we had some Oreos. Also for dessert, I had seen Amanda here at Faith Food and Family on YouTube. I'll leave her link in the description box below, but she made some brownie batter dip and it looks so, so good. So we decided to make some and y'all, it was delicious. We served it with some vanilla wafers and some graham crackers. The next night we used up some of that leftover buffalo chicken dip to make some quesadillas out of and y'all I'm so glad we did because it was even better the second time around in quesadilla form. It was delicious. So we just heated up some butter on the stove, put some flour tortillas down, the mixture. We did heat up the mixture a little bit in the microwave just about 20 seconds I think is all we did just to get it a little bit heated and um, so we just spread it out on our tortillas sprinkled some cheese on top and cooked the quesadilla so so good and then we also made some zucchini air fryer fries like I had made last week in the oven and I hate to say it but we actually preferred them in the oven I think zucchini is just really moist anyway so in the air fryer it just didn't it didn't work out as well so we still really liked the flavor of them and I'll make them again just in the oven like usual and with maybe a little bit less oil Overall, we really enjoyed this meal, and if you ever have some leftover buffalo chicken dip, then I highly suggest make it into a quesadilla, because it's delicious. The 
The next meal probably was my favorite of the week. It was Cajun chicken pasta and it turned out amazing. I went ahead and cut up one and a half chicken breast here into chunks. And then I also did some red peppers and green peppers. We had some minced garlic, salt and pepper, Cajun style seasoning, then any kind of pasta that you want to use. I used bow tie pasta. And then we had four ounces of cream cheese. I was out of some butter sticks, so I used margarine. I also have a cup of milk and then some Parmesan cheese too. The first thing I did was add two tablespoons of butter and heat it up on the stove on medium heat. Then once it was heated up, I added two teaspoons of garlic and cooked that for about 30 seconds, not too long, before adding in the chicken and veggies. And I also went ahead and added two teaspoons of the Cajun seasoning. And this Cajun seasoning that Travis found at Walmart was really, really good. It wasn't too spicy. I really think it was like the perfect amount of spice. It had really good flavor. I let that cook for about four to five minutes on each side, making sure that the chicken was done to temp. And then once it was, that's when you start adding in your other ingredients. So I gave it a nice good stir one more time and then added in the milk and the cream cheese and made sure all of that was nice and melted and smooth before we went any further. Once it was mixed together really good, I added in the pasta, then the Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper to taste, mixed it all together, and then you're ready to serve it. This was so, so good, y'all. I had way too much of it, a couple bowlfuls, and then Travis loved it too. And for the boys, I just kept some of the pasta noodles out before adding it in with the spiciness, um, separate with some cheese and butter on it. So they had that with some other things on the side for them. Not pretty much Travis and Grant did all of the cooking while I filmed. They made some cheeseburger sliders. So for this, they had some King's Hawaiian rolls, a pound of ground beef, and we didn't have any cheddar cheese. So we just used the American slices. We also had some salt, pepper, Worcestershire sauce, yellow mustard, onion powder, minced garlic, and then some bread and butter pickles. So basically the only thing I helped with was cutting all the Hawaiian rolls in half while pretty much squishing them in the process on accident. And then at the end I also helped put pickles on them. But um, Travis went ahead and cooked up the ground beef. Then Grant wanted to help put all of the seasonings in it. So they just added some yellow mustard. And Travis, I've said this before, he doesn't really measure things when he's not following a recipe, which I love. Um, I'm not able to do that. I'm not confident enough, but he does cook like that. So they just added a bunch of stuff, the minced garlic, onion powder to taste, the Worcestershire sauce, and salt and pepper too. They mixed together that mixture really good, then added it onto the King's Hawaiian rolls, stuck it in a 9 by 13 pan with some cooking spray sprayed on it, then added the cheese and pickles on top. Just for some added yumminess, we took some of that margarine and rubbed it all over the tops of the King's Hawaiian rolls and then stuck it in the oven on 350 for about 10 minutes. You could also add any other kind of seasonings with that melted butter, but that's all we did. We stuck it in the oven for about 10 minutes until everything was nice and melty and they turned out really good. We served it with some green beans on the side. Me and Travis always love these. We haven't had them in a long time because Travis always makes them <laughs> and he hasn't um, done them in a long time. I think we just forgot about them for a while. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, be on the lookout for a giveaway video that will be in Monday's grocery haul video. So once that posts, um, I'll give you all the details for that. But hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.